All right guys, welcome to Refined Integrity. I'm excited to share with you our first YouTube video here on our YouTube channel. First of all, I'm gonna share with you what is Refined Integrity. I'm gonna share with you during the building and the pinnacle of my career, what happened to me and how we're gonna overcome this, which is so in alignment with what Refined Integrity is. So Refined Integrity was a brand that was spawned from my spiritual awakening of healing the broken little boy inside and working to become a better father, a better business owner, a better person in society. And so through this process, I created a company called Refined Integrity. So the representation of what I look like outside is how I truly feel inside. And throughout this process of awakening, I've learned to define myself through integrity, honesty, uncompromising belief in God, within my family principles, peace, freedom, and family structure. And something that's really big for me is daily routines and what I call rituals. Every single morning when I put my beard oil on, I ask myself, are you getting your shit together? It's something, a relationship thing in between me and myself in the morning and asking myself, am I going to move the needle forward? So that's my morning routine. Then every single night as I'm getting ready to go to bed, getting into that sleep mode, I start to wash my beard and I ask myself, did you move the needle forward. I think it's more important than ever as men, specifically as men and heads of the household, that we rise up and to redefine our integrity. Our whole world as men is getting flipped upside down. The industrial era is completely dying out. There's a whole battle around masculinity right now, but masculinity represents to me integrity, honesty, moral, ethics, and most of all having principle. So as we designed this company, it wasn't about designing a beard oil, it was about designing a frequency, an energy, an embodiment, an identity. So when a man is traveling, when they open up that box or they smell that refined oil, they remember that they need to keep their shit together. Now, let's talk about this journey. So I was at the peak of my career, I am at the peak of my career. Four years ago, I had lost everything. And throughout that process, I built myself up to uh, financial freedom, equity in multiple companies. We built a seven-figure ecosystem. And as we build Refine, this is one of my most exciting passion projects that I've ever done. Well, at the peak of everything, at the peak of everything, all of a sudden, I suffered a devastating leg injury. And to be honest with you, as I'm filming this video, I'm not feeling too good right now, <laughs> pain-wise, mental-wise, and it's really putting me into a dark place, a place that I had to scratch and crawl my way out of 17 years ago. So I'm faced with a couple demons right now. Number one, 17 years ago, I suffered from a massive opiate addiction and I committed suicide on December 18, 2006. I had a pretty uh, tra tragic leg, leg injury on uh, this last Wednesday and I'll be finding out on Monday what the uh, healing process is. Oh, with big injuries, what do they give you? Opiates. So here I am every single day, a recovering opiate addict faced with this opiate right in front of my face. So number one, I'm conquering that battle because now the battle is completely different. I'm aligned with great human beings. I have integrity, moral, ethics, and principles. So that's one battle that I'm facing. I'm also what's called a generator in human design. So my very busy life, moving and grooving, solving problems, constantly solving and growing and building got shut down to a slow crawl. I'm having trouble getting in and out of bed. I can only go from my bed laying flat to coming sitting on this bar stool and working here in my kitchen. So I got completely flipped upside down a couple days ago. So what we decided to do is we're like, man, the content we're gonna be filming for fine, we're gonna take you through the journey. I think that's appropriate for me to take you through the journey of me going from the pinnacle and coming sliding back down with this injury and we're gonna take you through the process. The process is being refined in your integrity. I'm gonna stay aligned with the goal, the purpose, the mission. That is always gonna stay the same. Sometimes you're gonna be on top of the mountain and sometimes you're gonna get knocked down. So as we go through this journey, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at one rock in front of the other, one step in front of the other. Too often as men, we're looking at this massive mountain and when you get to the top of the mountain, there's another one that's created. So I'm gonna encourage you through refining your integrity, defining principles, ethics, and morals, that together we're gonna to climb up this mountain. This is a critical, critical time in human history where men should be rising up into their higher consciousness. This doesn't represent a car, a house, getting a bigger uh, a yacht. These, this is not what masculinity is about. 
Masculinity is about integrity, honesty, moral, and ethics. So I'm excited for you to go on this journey with me. And I really think that God was having me go through this to really see if I'm ready for that next level. There's many different things going on in my mind as I sit here and think about it. But the demons came back. Okay? It's time to battle those together. It's time to take you through the journey and let you know that it's possible for you. Every single man and woman has the opportunity to accomplish whatever they want. But it starts with principles. It starts with integrity. It starts with honesty and truly redefining your integrity. It's going to be a long journey, but here we go.